It's Lock from Turtle, and I was in Indonesia trying to understand if sea turtles can survive ocean plastics, illegal fishing, and sea level rises. The results might surprise you. Previous day, we flew into Bali, went across some floodwaters, through some ceremonies, a quick ferry over to Java, another four hour drive, and then we're finally into a turtle mobile where I'm joined with my driver, Jono, who's pretty happy to cross rivers, drive through rainforests. I think Jono was getting a little bit sick and tired of me at this point, so he told me to get up on top of his vehicle and give him some space. So after 24 hours, we finally made it to Sukumare Beach, and it is absolutely beautiful from the top. Not so beautiful from below, though. Even in this remote part of Java, there's plastics literally everywhere, and it's here where turtles are trying to lay their eggs every single night. I'm not expecting to see any turtles after this, but at nightfall, we head out with the researchers, and sure enough, we find our first nest. The researchers actually relocate all the nests to a secure location where they're safer from predators and the higher seas associated with global warming. Just as we say goodbye to the first mother, we find another one literally 200 meters away. It definitely feels a little bit intrusive, but I guess it's for a good cause. And she laid a lot, I think it was 158 eggs from memory. Now this is when it gets really interesting. See, this young lass laid her nest way too low in the wave zone and had the researchers not been there all these eggs would have gone to waste. The researchers tell me that there's still a really good amount of turtles coming to nest but a lot of them are actually doing u-turns without nesting at all and some of the researchers think this is because of the plastic on the beach. After five hours on the beach we've collected five nests and it's time to head home for the next stage of the journey. In the morning we head to a secure area to rehome each of last night's nests. We dig a hole and we gently place each of the eggs at the base where they'll sit for approximately 60 days until nesting. We'd collected 722 eggs from the night before and each nest is marked with the turtle number, species and the number of eggs per nest. The next morning we rise to see which nests have actually hatched and for those who have, we put them into a bucket, we take them down to the beach and it's time to release them. It's just such a magical moment and I'm so thankful for the researchers for allowing me to be a part of it. Look, there's absolutely no doubt this is a really unconventional way to manage turtles, but it seems to be working. Even in this remote corner of Indonesia, ocean plastics and higher sea levels may be inescapable, but so is the desire of some people to do something about it.